Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to the uh, grand opening of our new uh, Matthew Jago School Park. You know, about a year and a half ago, there were a lot of gloomy faces around when the, uh, when the park was set on fire and it was a very sad day for all of us. But thanks to the mayor, the Board of Ed, the councilmen, the Board of Ed members, uh, they all banded together and worked real hard to get our park put back together better than ever. This is really significant for us this year because it's the 50th anniversary of Matthew Jago School. So after 50 years, we had a brand new park and we're really excited and we have a lot of nice things planned for our school. So I just want to thank the mayor and everyone else who worked so hard on this and I'd like to turn over this to the mayor now. Thank you very much. In case anybody, well, in case anybody doesn't know who that was, that was Bob Patton, whoop, there we go. That was Bob Patton, he's the principal of Matthew Jago School 28. I want to introduce all the people that are here and I can't turn around or I'm going to lose the microphone. First Ward Councilwoman, Nancy Drum. Fifth Ward Councilwoman, Debbie Meehan. Member of the Board of Ed, Sue Borden. Councilman, Greg Ficara. Member of the Board of Ed, Dan Harris. Assistant Superintendent of the School System, John Bader. Uh, the Director of Special Ed, Julie Baer. Our Planning Director, Marta Lefsky. Our Chief of Staff and the Head of our Redevelopment Agency, Carolyn Ehrlich. Our Recreation Director, Vito Similuca. Our Safety Coordinator, Safety Joe Gregus. Oh, right in the middle. Right in the middle, I missed him. Uh, De Deputy Recreation Director and Board of Ed member, Brian Molnar. <laughs> Members of the best public works department in the state, and that's because they don't just do garbage, they don't just do potholes, they do everything. They build playgrounds, they knock down buildings, they fix up buildings, they build new buildings, they pave tracks and they pave roads and they do all kinds of great things and they love it and they're terrific. Our director, Dennis Henry, Deputy Director, George Brio Brew. From the office, Joanne Gorecki, Dave Skews, Bobby Higgins, a former councilman and the guy that keeps an eye on our special needs population for us, Jimmy Carroll. My special assistant for the day, Bella. And I don't know all the other kids' names, but they're all here to help us celebrate. As Mr. Patton said, it was a terrible day, August 1st last year, um, when we came out and the playground was, uh, was destroyed by a couple of teenagers. Uh, but out of um, the despair of that moment came this beautiful playground. And it took a while, uh, but it was rebuilt, and it was rebuilt better than ever. And I don't know if there's a better handicapped accessible playground anywhere around this whole town, around this whole county, even in the state. Look at how beautiful this came out. It came out because of cooperation between the town of Woodbridge and the Board of Education. And let me tell you folks, that doesn't happen anywhere else in this state. Uh, we like each other, we work with each other. You see council members here, board members here. You see uh, administrators here, our administrators here. But most importantly, the real stars of the show today are all the kids behind us that are going to get to use this fantastic playground. So let me see if anybody wants to say a few words. Bella, what do you want to say about the playground? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. How about you, tough guy? Anybody? You want to say something? I think it's... Wait, come here, come here. Stand right here. Hold it down. I think it's one of the greatest playgrounds ever built, I've seen, and that's it. All right. How about girls? Anybody? You want to talk? Come on up. I really think that it is a amazing playground. There is almost nothing better I've ever seen in my entire life than this. Right. How old are you? Ten. In his entire ten-year life, he's never seen anything better. How about? Come here. Tell me, how did you feel uh, this summer of last year when you came back to school and saw how bad this looked from the fire? How did, how did it make you feel? Well, Come on up here. Well, it made me feel really sad seeing that we wouldn't have a playground for a while. And, well, the new one just better than the other one. All right. Anybody else? Come on up. I like that there's new and better things here. That's really all. All right. Anybody else? Come on up, dude. 
I like that this playground is bigger. Even though I wasn't here last year, because I'm kind of new. Right. But I still like this playground. It's bigger and fun. All right. And you know what the best part about it is? Anybody can use it. Right? It's got the ramps. It's got the access. Anybody... Anybody who's handicapped, anybody who's in a wheelchair, anybody who's on crutches, anybody who has any kind of physical challenge can come in and use this, this park and use this playground, right? I think that's the best part of it. I'd like to now ask uh, Councilwoman Drum, who uh, her area is Woodbridge and Seawarn in the first word. Nancy, do you want to say a few words? Hold it down, kind of. Thank you, Mayor McCormick. Oh, Julie. Congratulations on 50 years in Seaborn here at Matthew Jago School and congratulations on getting the new playground. It's absolutely wonderful. I wish you all the best. I am excited that it is a shared playground and all of our community can um, come here and play in it. I have a grandchild that I'm sure I'll bring here to play and many others out there and in around in the audience and that's the best part about the collaboration like the mayor said with the Board of Education and the community and our DPW that works so hard. So thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you, Nancy. I'd like, like to ask Julie Bear to come up on behalf of the school board. As I said, she runs the, uh, the, the special needs effort and the Ma Ma School 28 is actually a magnet school for the special needs population, so it's so appropriate. This actually started many years ago. We got a grant from Middlesex County to build the playground to begin with, and that was very crucial to making that happen. So we also want to thank Middlesex County while we're here. Uh, then they also cooperated in this round too, so they were terrific. So Julie, would you say a few words? Thank you. I've been in working with the special needs population for over 30 years now, and I can definitively tell you I have never seen a town nor a district more dedicated to the students than Woodbridge Township is. And to see this amazing playground and know that our students are all inclusive and that they can play and run and have fun and be just like everybody else means more to me, the children, and the parents than you'll ever know. So I'd like to thank the mayor and thank the township. I'm very proud to be a part of this township and this district. Thank you. All right, as I said before, Brian, um, Brian Molnar, this way. Huh? There we go. Uh, no, there we go. Brian Molnar uh, works for the school district or as a board member in the school district and works for the town and recreation. So he sees everything that we do together. I'd like to ask Brian Molnar to say a few words. Thank you, Mayor. Like the mayor had mentioned, um, this was a shared, one of the first shared service projects that I worked on as a board member when I got elected many years ago. And this, this playground here has kind of been along my tenure as a board member. Early on, we were here for the celebration of the building of the playground. Years later, we met at a press conference to cover the destruction of the playground. And here we are again, full circle, for opening the playground again. And if I could just ask a fellow board member to come up, Super Dane, because this playground has a special meaning for her, as a, not as a board member, but as a parent. So if Sue could just say. Thank you, Brian. Uh, this playground does hold a very special place in my heart. It was the first playground I brought my daughter to when she was two, I'd say. And she has made many, many friends on this playground. Uh, my daughter was fortunate enough to go to school here uh, for preschool. Um, she is fortunate, very fortunate to come to Pace here in the summer. Unfortunately, you know, the fire occurred the last few days of Pace last year. It was devastating to the kids. It was a very difficult summer this year not to have the playground. But, man, it's, it's a beautiful playground. I can't wait to bring my daughter back down here again and all her friends have a little reunion here. And this summer at Pace is going to be great. So thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, everybody, for making this happen so efficiently. All right, now let's get the ribbon. As we celebrate the official opening, it's been open before, but we celebrate the official opening. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. And yeah, we'll cut pieces for everybody. All right. We're going to count down. When I get to one, you can all go on the playground. Ready? Wait, wait. Ten, nine, everybody, eight.
Seven, six, five, four.